Treat my stupid chungus life. I don't understand series in parallel and AC circuits. Boy, is this you? Are you too struggling with series and parallel circuits in AC? Well, you better keep watching because I can help you. Otherwise, this might just be you. Oh. Why don't you understand series and parallel circuits in AC? Series AC circuits, impedance adds, but in parallel AC circuits, admittance. What is admittance, you may ask? It's just the reciprocal of impedance, and what are the units of admittance? It's Siemens. Oh. So, now we're gonna do some examples. Oh. Like I've said, in series AC, impedance adds. Oh. So ZT is ZR plus ZL plus ZC, and you can write it in these other forms, which we will be using. This, one. Uh -huh. this is a series circuit. Firstly, we need to find the reactance of the inductor. Uh -huh. uh, times 50 times 0 0.2, which gives us 62.8 ohms. Xc is 1 over 2 pi FL, which is 1 over 2 pi times 50 times 100 times 10 to the negative 6. And that gives us 31.8 ohms. Now we find the total impedance, which is, this is the formula for total impedance. Uh -huh. um, 40 plus J, 62.8 minus 31.8, which is just from those. That becomes that. And now we find the magnitude of impedance, which is and it gives us 51 ohms. Ah. And then finally, we can calculate current, which we use Ohm's law. If you don't know Ohm's law, you should go watch Ann Arslan's video. Ohm's law. Ohm's law. 340 volts over 51 ohms is... I know this one. It's about 6.7 or 6.7. So now we're onto the parallel circuit and we need to find the total current. Firstly, we need to find the reactance of everything. XL is 2 pi XL. Two, which is 62.8 ohms. Xc is 1 over 2 pi FL, and that is 15 times 50.7 times 10 to negative 6. And that gives you 62.8 ohms as well. Huh. Hmm. Now we need to find the admittance of everything. So if we just start on um, reciprocal, we have 51, which is 0 0.0961. Um, and now for YL, which is negative J, 1 over 6.28, gives us negative J, 0 0.0592. And YC is J, 1 over 6.28, and that's 0.0192 as well. Adding all the admittance together. So just following the formula, uh -huh. first and then. I mean, I think we have. And that gives us that. Now we just find the total impedance in order to find the total current. And that is just 0 0.01961, which equals 51 ohms. Now we can finally find total current. Using Ohm's law, um, 340 volts over 51 ohms will give you. Six, seven. Oh! 100? Good oh my boy. god! Good boy! <laughs>